Hey, Tony here. To help recognize Earth Day 2021, I wanted to show you my Disney Nature Collection. So stay tuned. So back in 2008, Disney produced a line of movies to be released in theaters in recognition of Earth Day. So today I'm going to show you some of these movies that I've got in my collection. So first up we have Earth. Now this right here was released on September 1st, 2009. This is their first release. A really nice looking slipcover. Um, this particular film is narrated by James Earl Jones. And this release did come with some really nice looking disc art. So really nice um, to have that one on Blu-ray. Um, next up we do have Crimson Wing. Now this right here was released on October 19th, 2010. Really nice looking slipcover. Um, and it does have some disc art to match the cover. Okay, next up we do have Oceans. Now Oceans is narrated by Pierce Brosnan. It's got another nice looking slipcover and an embossed title which is always nice. And it does come with some discard also. I'm really um, fascinated by the oceans, the, the um, sharks and the whales and all that so this is a really good um, documentary uh, documentary to check out. Okay, next up we do have um, African Cats. Now African Cats was released on October 4, 2011. Now they, and as you can see, he's got a really nice looking shimmering um, um, slip cover. And as you can see, this right here was released alongside of the Lion King, kind of to tie into that to where people would purchase it. Um, so I thought that was a pretty nice looking, uh, pretty good idea to tie that in with Lion King. So we've got some really nice looking disc art there. Okay, next up we have Chimpanzee. Now Chimpanzee was released on August 21st, 2012. Another really nice looking slip cover for this one. And it does have no disc art. So starting with Chimpanzee, they quit doing the disc art and they just started doing the generic blue um, Blu-ray disc. Um, and this one actually has a little sticker with it. So that is Chimpanzee. Next up, um, we do have Wings of Life. Now this right here was released um, on April 16th, 2013 and it is narrated by Meryl Streep. Um, with this release, as you can see, it doesn't really have nothing special about the slipcover, just a nice image. And as I said before, um, there will be no disc art. So Wings of Life. Wings of Life is probably my least favorite just because of, um, I mean, I, I do like birds and stuff, but it just seemed a little bit, as you can tell from the back, it just didn't seem as um, interesting to me as some of the other ones that actually featured the animals. So next up we have Disney Nature Bears. This right here is a great looking um, release. I really like the slipcover on this one. It almost looks kind of like a tree. Um, this right here was released on August 12th, 2014. And it does have an embossed title on the slip, which is nice. And of course, um, there is no discard on this one either. Disney Bears, I mean, Disney Nature Bears was a really good um, movie to watch, a, a nice little documentary. And with this particular release, they started um, providing the digital copy, which is, which is nice to have. Okay, next up we have um, uh, Monkey Kingdom with another nice looking slip. This right here was released on September 15th, 20, 2015. Um, another one about monkeys. A very interesting documentary. I really enjoyed this one. And it does not have any discard either. So Monkey Kingdom. Oh, and this one right here was um, narrated by Tina Fey. 
And then the last release that they did um, was back on August 29th, 2017. This is Born in China, of course, um, talking about the pandas and some other animals that are found in China. Um, this right here was a really good one. Like I said, this right here was released in 2017. Um, it is narrated by John Krasinski, which is great. And of course, this did not come with any disc card either, just the plain blue disc. So, um, like I said, this was August 29th, 2017. This was the last time that they actually released these. Um, apparently, I don't believe that the sales for these particular releases did very well. Um, they always used to just kind of tie them in with some of their other bigger releases. And also, um, sometimes they would provide coupon um, stickers on some of these so that you could get a discount if you purchased more than one in the line. But overall I really do enjoy um, animal documentaries and I really think Disney probably does some of the best of these documentaries. If you think about all the time that it takes for them to go out and um, record and do all the things that they do to produce these movies it's pretty amazing. Please leave me a comment below let me know if you have any of these in your collection and what do you and what do you think of the Disney Nature line. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.